All right, y'all. So this is going to be our topic for Monday, uh, March the 8th. So this is your first asynchronous day of your week. All right. And the title of this is Equivalent Functions. And if you'll notice, I have a big circle with a calculator um, and a cross through it, meaning we cannot use a calculator for this. OK, um, now there is not a shortcut way to do this without the calculator. There is a shortcut way, obviously, with the calculator. But there is not a shortcut way without the calculator. So what we're going to do, it's a little tedious um, and it does take a little bit of work, but it's not hard work. OK. All right. So what we've got here is they want to know when are these two values equal. OK. But we've never done one with an exponent as a variable. OK. So the only way to do this without a calculator and without multiple choice, if it was multiple choice, you could just plug them in. But this has actually been fill in the blank in the past. Um, that type of question where you're actually going to to fill in your answer. OK, so we do what is called a table. OK, now it's up to you how you do your table. But we're always going to start with the numbers one, two and three. I always do all of those one, two and three. And then if I don't have my answer by the time I get to three, I will keep going. All right, so we have two functions here. We have 2 to the x plus 4. And we have 12 plus 2x. So what I am going to do is I am going to plug my x's in for x in each equation. OK, so 2 to the first plus 4, 2 squared plus 4, and 2 cubed plus 4. 12 plus 2 times 1, 12 plus 2 times 2, and 12 plus 2 times 3. Now remember, our goal is for them to be equal. So from here, I am going to evaluate. So basically, I'm going to use my order of operations and simplify each one of these expressions. Okay, so 2 to the first is 2, and 2 plus 4 gives me 6. 12 plus 2 gives me 14. 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 4 gives me 8. 12 plus 4 gives me 16. 2 cubed is 8. 8 plus 4 gives me 12. 12 plus 6 gives me 18. OK, so I am not equal yet. So I am going to have to go to 4 at least. So that will be 2 to the 4th plus 4. OK, so 2 to the 4th is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. And 12 plus 8 is 20. So here you will see that they are equivalent right here. They both equal 20. So my answer is 4. The answer is not 20. It's what number of for x did you plug in? to make them equal. So 4 is my answer. OK. Let's look at the next one. OK, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create my table. OK, one, two and three is where I'm going to start. OK, so the first thing you do is you plug them in. And y'all, these are calculator inactive. So the number that you get is not going to be some outlandishly large number. It's not going to be like 3,000. If they're asking you to do a table like this, it's only going to be something pretty simple, pretty small. And then we're going to evaluate. OK, so 3 to the first is 3. 3 minus 10 is negative 7. 20 minus 1 is 19. 
3 squared is 9, 9 minus 10 is negative 1, 20 minus 2 is 18. 3 cubed is 27, 27 minus 10 is 17, 20 minus 3 is 17. So right here you have the same number. So our answer is what number did you plug in to get that same number, which was 3. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you just a few minutes to work on this one. Same thing. There we go. Okay, so you're going to start again by plugging them in. So 5 to the first, 5 squared, 5 cubed. All right, and evaluating. So this is 5, 5 minus 15 is negative 10, and 7 minus 4 is negative 3. 5 squared is 25 minus 15 is 10. 14 minus 4 is 10. So right there we are. So our answer is 2. So I didn't even have to do 3 on that. Okay, so this is what it's asking for if they are equivalent. And I see that because it says equal here. Okay, the other thing that they might ask for is when does one of them get to be larger than the other? Okay, so that's going to be the terminology in this problem. For what positive integer value of x does f of x equal 4 times 3 to the x first exceed? Y'all, this means greater than. So when is the f of x greater than the g of x? So we're going to do the same thing. I'm still going to do the table. Okay, still going to plug in my x values. And then I'm going to evaluate. So 3 to the first is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 7 plus 15 is 22. So remember, I need the first one to be larger than the second one. So 12 and 22, 12 is not larger than 22. Okay, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 14 plus 15 is 29. So see already, 36 is larger than 29. So it first exceeds at 2. Okay, remember you can always replay this back. This one right here again is equal. So go back to that one. You're going to do equal there. I'll give you just a minute to work on that one.
Okay, so I'm going to start again. Okay. All right, so 11 plus 17 is going to give me 28. 22 plus 17 is going to give me 39. This will be 3 to the first, so that's 3 minus 20 is negative 17. 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 20 is negative 11. 3 cubed would be 27 minus 20 is 7. 33 plus 17 is going to be 50. So I'm still going to have to keep going here. Let's try 4. So 44 plus 17 is 61. 3 to the 4th, which is 81, minus 20 is 61. So our answer would be 4. Last one, find when they first exceed. So when does the first one first exceed the second one? All right, so first exceeds is what we're looking for. Okay, so I'm just going to plug them in. Okay, so 2 to the first is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. This would be 28. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. This would be 38. 8 times 3 is going to be 24. This would be 48. Man. Okay, so I'm going to notice real quick here what's happening. 6 to 12, 12 to 24, it is doubling. So for 4, it would be 48. For 5, it would be 96. Here it's going up by 10, so this would be 58 and 68 so it took me all the way to five for the last one for it to be larger okay 
All right, so you will have a worksheet uh, due that has some of this and obviously some old stuff on it as well. Um, this will be due on Tuesday. So I need you to fill out the assignment that you watched this video and then you will have a worksheet to complete about this video for Tuesday. So that'll be your Monday and Tuesday check off. And then I will be back with a video for Wednesday and a check off for Thursday. Okay. Y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon.